Hi, welcome to Tooling Around. In this episode, we'll be talking about whether or not you are addicted to motorcycles. Right after this. Matt Tucker rented a piece of paradise. It's as beautiful as they say. Hey. Hi. Just moved into 13B. 13B? With many dark secrets. From the creators of In Paradise, Bad Still Happens. You gotta get out of here. Comes Hawaii's ultimate renter's coverage. For you, your stuff, and your car. First Select Portfolio from First Insurance. Call your independent agent or visit fico.com slash rent. Welcome back. In this episode, we'll be talking about whether or not you are addicted to motorcycles. Now, I'm not talking about you own a motorcycle, you know, you enjoy it, you go out in the garage once in a while, wipe it off, and you ride when you can. No, I'm talking about addicted. In other words, it's all you ever think about. You have revolved your life around motorcycling. Now, I want to make perfectly clear that I do not mean to make light of other types of addiction. The opiate addictions in many parts of the country is epidemic. And no, that's not what we're talking about. Because if you had to pick an addiction, believe me, motorcycle, okay? Now, but there are some similarities. In fact, when you talk about um, people who are addicted to whatever drug, fill in the blank, they'll often say, well, you know, I tried it that first time, and then after that, I was always chasing how good that first time felt. And I was never able to quite achieve that. So I kept taking more and more, chasing it, and then, OMG. Well, guess what? That's part of what's addicting about motorcycling. Every time you get on the bike, it's as good as that first time. I don't care if you started in sixth grade on a mini bike with your friends in a cow pasture somewhere going, whoa, guess what? It feels the same right now. Yeah, that was me. And now this is just as cool, right? Now, here are a few signs that you may be addicted. Any conversation that's going on around you, whether it's family or friends or whomever, you end up segueing to motorcycles, right? Like someone says, hey, I was watching Netflix, that Brad Pitt movie, War Machine. Did you see that? And you go, Brad Pitt? Yeah, I saw a video of him riding a hardtail with a jockey shift. Man, he's into some hardcore bikes. Is that what we were talking about? And your friends will go, no, we we're talking about the movie he's in. And guess what? We're in a bar. You can take off the helmet. Oh, okay. Another sure sign, and you kind of share this with uh, the people with other addictions. Do you find yourself stealing money from yourself to support your motorcycle habit. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like you get your paycheck and you're thinking, okay, I have to pay this, I have to pay that, but everything else, cha-ching, new part for the bike, or new bike, right? It's like that joke people say, you know, uh, guys, you'll hear them go, yeah, I have this nightmare that I die and my wife sells the bike and all those parts I bought for what I told her I paid for them. Yeah. Now, motorcycle addiction, to me, um, ha has affected my life. And guess what? I don't own a car. And people say, well, what do you mean you don't own a car? Well, listen, my son has a car. My wife has a car, so I have access to a car. But as far as you know, owning one and it's in the garage and it's my car? No. And I justify that by saying, well, you know, motorcycles are more economical. They're cheaper to insure. Um, they're easier to park. They're easier to get through traffic. And I'm addicted. Ah. Now, you probably have your own um, experience with motorcycle addiction unless like many of us, you're in denial. 
Yeah, a lot of people are like that. No, I'm not addicted to motorcycles. And speaking of motorcycles, man, have you seen that new Triumph Bobber? I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence with it. What are you talking about? Nobody knows except you and your friends. If you're into Harley Davidson, here's a sign. Are most of your clothes black? <laughs> My daughter tries to hand me our dog and he's, he's got really light fur and I go, oh, wait, wait, I'm wearing black. She says, you're always wearing black. Really? I go to my closet, all my t-shirts are black. And a lot of them are adorned with the bike that I prefer. Right? Do all your clothes have the logo of the bike you ride? You may be addicted. Anyway, if you have some hints for people who are trying to figure out whether they are addicted or not, leave them in the comments below. And let's see what surfaces. All right, thanks for watching, one day at a time.